Hey, what's up, guys? Sorry this took so long, but I'm here with the next episode of my beginner's guide. Um, get buffs up in the little guild really quick. Okay. Looking good over here. First things first. Um, let me talk about these banners that are live right now. Because I'm sure this video is going to get watched mostly by people right now while these are up. Um, Crow is very good. He will always be very good. Rowana's nice, k -Run's nice. These are both really good units, but Crow is very fucking good, okay? I'm, I'm just gonna say that like as bluntly as I can. Crow is insane. So, I think it's 100% worth, even if you're gonna be free to play, to try and get this unit because he's that good. He's really good entry into Wyvern. I mean, he's great in PvP. He's great everywhere. He's probably the best tank unit in the game because he brings defense buff as well and can do good damage while being as tanky as possible. So I'm gonna start this video out with me summoning for Krau. I'm gonna literally go all in for him. Um, I, got, I get enough free energy and get leaps and stuff to continue progressing through the account and showing how to do things optimally. Um, personally, I think Crow is a very good unit to have on a new account. So this is a unit that I would recommend pulling for, basically. So we're going to see if I can luck out and get him on this account quickly. That would be nice. So then I could save the resources. Um, let me, uh, turn off this. Don't ask. There. And we'll just go in as hard as we can. Why is it still asking me for confirmation when I just turned that off? Yeah. What the hell? Weird. It's still asking me to confirm. Whatever. Let's get through this. A tome. Nice for a Montmorency until you get Rod. Uh, okay, it's a new four star. <laughs> it would let me click through it. Leo. Um. I'm the aspiring warrior, Leontius This guy is Leo. really mediocre. This is my friend, Raku. Nice to meet you. And for speed purposes, I'll probably just spotter him. All right, we got you. Right or wrong, I'll worry about that later. Sweet, bud. Can you let me skip? Come on, just give me the crowd. Give me the crowd. All these first time summon. Don't you dare look down on me! I will gore you! She just got a specialty change and she's actually a decent unit. Hell's Fist, mediocre artifact, to be honest. Tag of Hells, save every single one of those you get. Just trust me, do that. Just save every single one of them. Arius, save every single one of those you get. If you guys want me to do a specific video on, on artifacts, let me know down in the comments. I've done one before. I like it. I can do an updated one. Lena. This is the it's a chick. big world filled with strong people. I will build That's her to be my farmer. Fun. She's a three star. If you get that unit, don't just fodder her off. She's a great farmer. And she can also be used in Wyvern early on too, which is nice. Okay, so we didn't luck out yet. I'm gonna go buy two bundles. Lots of good wares. Take your time. What, these are just sky stones that I earned playing through the story. 
If we don't get crowd, we don't get crowd. It, it, it's unfortunate that I use all my resources going for him and not getting him. But. My other account pulled him in 10 summons. Not having any luck over here, though. No, no new player luck. Leave everything to me. Another four star. Kawana's actually pretty good. Hey, I'm Kawana. Where are you from? Um. Yeah, she's she's not a bad unit. She has attack buff. Still pulling new artifacts. Another purges. I pulled three of those on this account already. What the fuck? Not let me skip. Come on, be proud. Oh, it's an artifact. Sucks this holy sacrifice isn't that useful. Another one. Wow. Back to back. What the fuck? I love oh. what channel I am to chat reaction to that. Oh. Rip. Okay, I'm gonna buy two more bundles. What do you think? I can buy two galaxy summons. Rika, a customer. We have a visitor. Another tone. Come on. Give me a little bit of luck. Just a little bit. I mean, the back-to-back -back holy sacks is cool and all. But those do not really help with anything. Let this be it. Come up. Come up. Come up. There we go. Got him. Got him. Too easy. Greetings. My name is Crow Wright Royhill. So yeah, Crow is really good. I will be using him to tank Wyvern. For sure. I have Sigrid and Crow on this account now. Um, I will save the remainder of these summons here. Um, in the meantime, let's go ahead and do ML. Got nothing here, unfortunately. Um, there's a few three-star MLs that are worth building. This is not one of them. Look forward to what I have to offer. You have nothing to offer, buddy. Try again. Let's see. Four star. There's some that are really good. Four stars. This is one of them. I am the assassin Nicolette Fleur. But um, her 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 gear qual like she requires some really good gear and heavy mole investment. So. Now that we got the summons out of the way, like this is your overflow, right? I talked about that. So my artifacts are going in here, which isn't a big deal. That's fine. Um, going into heroes on this, like I recommend like every hero, you should hold on to a triple S copy of it. Um, so imprint them. Like I could just give you an example now. Um, like my Purgus, he's imprinted. Um, but for an easy, like making him to six star, like that Purgus dupe that I just got, I would level it up and promote it to five star and use it to promote him. It just saves me fodder in the long run. But like for Montmorency here, to have good a promotion, I got this, I can imprint her. 
Ideally, you want to do this with every unit in the game, and then hold on to a triple S copy of it. So I'll hold on to that Pergus. I'm going to go ahead and extend my inventory another 25 because it's going to max out again eventually with all the fodder. But, um, yeah, I've been farming through here. I'm probably going to throw Krau on my team now so I can start leveling him up. I do believe I have a Terranor guard in here, so this is another good boy for you to use. Gray girl for you to use, and then Alexa as well. And then just another little tip, since I only have two, well, let me see if I have the catalyst that I need to unlock her from connections. I don't, I, I highly doubt I do. Uh, no, I don't have one. So, but when you're promoting units, you can also take their, I'll just throw a dog in here too. So you can improve the imprint when you promote them and this is the most efficient way to do it. So wait till you get three copies of a unit before you promote them, the four star saves you time on farming and fodder. Um, Alexa's really good for Wyvern. That's why I promoted her. Um, I do have Sigrid as well. So ideally, like, if I was to do a speed clear team on this account for, like, Wyvern 11 to get really fast into it, like, Montmorency's great and all, but since I have Crow, I could literally just run Crow as a front line, work on Terranor Guard here. Um, you would skill enhance him with these, Get the effect chance in here, which is something that I'll end up doing relatively quick. I'll even get this maxed out. I'll max this out, and then I'll use him to farm Wyvern. I use him on both of my other accounts. He's a great unit for Wyvern. So I just have him in my front line. Terranor Guard on the side, and then I could run Sigret and Alexa and demolish Wyvern all the way up. Probably until Wyvern 13. I don't know if the team would work on Wyvern 13. But it probably will, depending on my gear. Um, realistically, all of this stuff that I got for free here, I could plus 15 all of this gear and throw it on Crow in the front with... Um, go to the Hall of Trials here. This is something you'll start doing as well. When you have the exchange here, you have this artifact in here that eventually you will want to get called the Sword of Ezra. You'll throw this on your front unit should be my crow and he'll tank wyvern with this so for the meantime what i've been doing where i'm at for progression you know it's kind of a different intro to the video because i did summons first uh, i recommend picking up crow he's a very good unit to have on any account um yeah i have not spent any money on this account obviously i, I, I don't i don't plan to but um for as for the story I've cleared up to 1010. That's how I had the galaxy summons. So the story's beat. Everything is three star, like I said before. I three starred everything on the way. The stages that I had not completed yet, though, um, I didn't go back and do. Like I have to come back here and finish these. I still didn't do it. And then I have to do 5s. I didn't touch this yet. And then 8s. It doesn't force you to do these. You can just continue progressing through the story. Like, the S just means it's, it's a side story. I did do this one. Now. So, I'll come back and I'll uh, finish clearing that out, getting the rewards out of there. Um, you have these worlds, world cracks here, which are um, pretty good for experience. If you're looking to slingshot a little bit or if you have some extra energy you want to get rid of, you can pop in here and do these and get rid of your energy pretty quick. Um, don't really recommend doing them though other than the first time that you do it just to get the uh you get imprints for ras in here i believe it's either imprints for ras or imprints for mercedes speaking of which i want to mention that now these imprints you get from mercedes these things world fragments do not use them hold on to them because there's a chance you might pull the ml version of mercedes and you want to put these in her not the one that they give you in the mailbox. But yeah, these El Rios things, they just, um, Rass is getting a specialty chain soon. So you, you just want to take these and you, you just throw them in him. That's what these are for. You just get them throughout the story. You get enough to triple us in. I don't know why I only have two after I beat 10-10 though. Maybe there's something I'm missing. <laughs> but, um, 
yeah, there's that. As for the adventure, adventures pass, I've went through, continue doing the entire thing, like I said. Um, I still have to make a six star. I haven't made my first six star yet. And I figured this is a good place to start the guide because people may not know, like, like where do I go to make my first six star? So, there's always a side story running. This is when you want to take your ass to side story, right? There's good rewards in side story. Speaking of which, I might have to farm this a little bit more now because I pulled Crow, And his specific catalysts are in here. Granted, I can farm these in other places. But this would make it uh, nicer on me later on if I farm these now. But I do recommend get this Molagora out of here. Like, no matter what stage of the game you're in. You know, you get free summons in here. And artifact charms are really nice to get too. I still gotta buy two more here. So, what I did is I went through and I, with my little gimpy ass team, I went and I, I went through the side story. And then there's always one stage that you can farm. And I farmed this stage, you know, just on normal difficulty. With, you know, the, the random team that I have here. With the units that I was using. I swapped out, like, Montmorency threw a dog in here to level it up as I was going because these are what you're going to use to make your first six star with. And it's just best to do everything in conjunction. There's no point, like, like don't run stuff in side story or, you know, like when with a full team that's max level, you should always be trying to level something up at the same time, no matter what. Same thing goes with doing runes and, and etc. Speaking of which, with runes, I do have Montmorency ready to go, and I do need to start her specialty change. So, I will probably promote her to 5-star before I even make my first 6-star. Because you could do... You could, you could get to the point where you can farm her stage with all 5-star units. You don't necessarily need a 6-star yet. So, I'll actually go do that now. That way I can unlock her, her specialty change and do it at the same time. Take her, let's use these, bring her to five star. Artifacts, you can imprint them with, with dupes. And like I said earlier, if you want me to do a specific guide on artifacts, let me know and I'll, I'll throw together a quick video on that. Um, then you have, you know, this, it, this is from the Adventurer's Path gear, and then like you see, I plus 15 the sword to get all this nice flat attack here, so he does good damages. And then he scales off health, so I maxed out his helm too. He was going to be my farmer, but since I pulled Lena, I might opt to do her instead, because she doesn't cost any Molagora at all. She just costs Stigma when you skill enhance her. See, no Molagora required. You just need Stigma, which is kind of hard to come by early game. But as you farm through, like, you'll be able to get it. Which kind of sucks. I need a lot of these fucking things. But that's all fine. You can farm those relatively early in the game. Early in the game, you're going to spend a lot of time farming stages and making six stars. Um, the way I did it on my alt account before this one is I actually got it to the point where I could farm Wyvern 9 with three units. And then I always brought a dog in with me. And so I, did, I was just three man, which isn't really that difficult to do. Because generally, when it comes to progression, you're going to start farming Wyvern 9, and you'll, you'll, you'll beat 10 once, and then you'll farm 11 after that. If you have to manual it and hit Arky every now and then, that's great, as long as you're farming it. But the goal is to get that thing on auto as quick as you can. That's why on this account, I opted with getting Crow, because Crow makes that shit easy not gonna lie he makes it really easy i pulled basar out of the 10 free summons by the way um so yeah terranor guard crow and blue dps units you can use alexa she's free you don't have absolutely have to have cigarette like i do um i don't think i've pulled a daydream joker yet uh let's see in here Well, I actually have not pulled a Daydream Joker. 
That sucks. Um, so yeah, that's an artifact you will definitely want to get. Because, um, yeah, it's just good. It, it's a, it, it, if you read it, it you, you do damage based on how much health your target has, and then it scales with your crit damage. So, say something has a million HP, you're going to do 3% of that, which is a big fucking number. And then you're going to multiply that by your crit damage, in addition to what damage you're already doing. It, it's insane how much damage it makes you do. Um, and Alexa really abuses that artifact with her S1 because she attacks twice. So, that's where I'm at with this. Um, going through other things real quick. I'll show my Sanctuary as well. But um, I haven't touched Automaton yet. But I can do it now. Um, I could probably climb pretty high up this. But since it resets every month, I'm not in a rush to do it. I figure I'll make my account as strong as I can and then push as far as I can. Because it does get pretty difficult earlier in the game when you get up to the top stages. So I just want to make sure before I commit to try and do this that I can just blast through it. Once I have my first six star unit and I have Montmorency specialty changed, which I should be able to do before this thing resets. I should be able, I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to clear the entire thing, but I will probably get to the point where I can get at least all the Mol Molagora out of it, which is nice. And then, um, Hall of Trials, when you can do this, just go in there and, and do it. You're probably not going to score very high, but you still want to do it. And then Labyrinth, I've been really slacking on doing my Labyrinth because I'm just, like, with the new hunts and everything, I'm so busy on my main two accounts that, like, finding time to come over to this account just, like, it doesn't happen very often. But I'm still trying to pump these out for you guys, so, yeah. I just came in and dumped them all now and, and got all the gear out of it. Just beeline straight to the gear here. There's a ring you get in here. It's this ring, actually. Which isn't a bad ring. I just threw it on Sid. Um, these boots are also not a bad pair of boots to level up because they're a first pair of speed boots you get. Speed is very nice to have on things. So yeah, I believe that's everything for now. What I'm basically going to be doing until the next video is making six stars. Um, getting my Wyvern team ready. So I might backtrack and level up Lena. And use her as a farmer because I can bring her into Wyvern as well. She might actually be my first six star since I managed to pull her. And then after that, I would probably six star Crow because he's going to be my front line. And then I, from there, maybe Sigrid would be my follow up. And then I can keep Terranor Guard at level 40, level 50 as I'm using those. Um, or I could just use Lena and not use Sigrid at all. You know, there, there's different options. I could do Alexa. I have a, an abundance of options for me to tackle Wyvern because that's my main goal on this account is to get where I can farm that. And then once you can farm that, then you Gucci. And as you do your dailies and stuff, then you'll go and farm whatever catalyst you need as you do that. Um, I will start progressing through unrecorded history which I have not touched yet. Um, majority of Montmorency stuff you will do on this stage right here. So it's pretty easy to get to earlier in the game. That's why I'm gonna go ahead, that's why I went ahead and promoted her now. That way I could start leveling her and then I can farm this stage to complete her specialty change and be leveling fodder and stuff at the same time. If you can only level one fodder at a time, that's fine. That's that's what you do. But I think that's it, guys. That's it for now. Um, not really much else to talk about. I think I covered everything. I will pop into my sanctuary so you can see how I spent my Orbis. Arena, I, you just make sure you go in and do them every day. I haven't been doing it as much as I should be. i just been doing the NPC battles because... There's a bunch of, like, random high-level fuckers in here. Wow, look at this account. That's a stack start account. This one, too. What the fuck? Okay. So, yeah, like, I would just come in and hit stuff like this. And then do these. 
because they're easy. But let's go look at the sanctuary so you can see how I mapped everything out. Um, so yeah, like I said first, I went 1-1-1 one, one, one here. I'm still growing the same thing. See how many ancient coins I have now? And I'm getting a good amount of conquest as well. And then I maxed out the middle here. That way I can grow three dogs to start making six stars. Um, whenever you have a Molagora, I just grow it instantly. So like, just finish this off, grow the Molagora, start another one. That's just how I do that. I do this on every single account. Um, then from there, I came over here and I maxed the, the middle just so I could get some income in through here. I just maxed out the middle thing. And then we have the Alchemist Steeple now, which is different than before. I came in here and did this mainly so I could get the charms. Charms are really nice to get and to start stockpiling. As you can see, I did them. I couldn't get it all the way up to epic, but I got it up to good. Got me a couple charms, throwing in garbage gear. And then now, I'm gonna max out this. This is my next goal, is to completely max out this. So I can start crafting gear when I get into farming. That's how I did this. For, like, progression, right? And I think that's it. I don't know if there's anything that I missed, if there any... Oh yeah, epic pass. Um... If this is around when you're in, like, consider grabbing it. Because, like, I feel like I should be getting way more experience than I actually am. But if there's an epic pass available, like, you get an ML sum summon out of it, which is really nice to get. It's like Animal Agora, which is time gated. So I might buy this with Sky Tones. Well, Sky Tones. Sky Stones I get over time. Just to unlock it. You also get a frame too, which is cool. And a skin, if you ever pull that later, if you want to get it, then great. Uh, me, I don't personally care too much on this account, but yeah. Oh yeah, web event, make sure you're doing your web event. It's free stamina. Um, I'm slacking on it on this account just because, you know, I'm literally just using this account for guides. Early game, you know what I mean? So yeah, I got to do two more hunts to get this and I can get all this. Um, I didn't even pull the levers from last time I did this. But yeah, I guess that's going to be it, guys. Um, hopefully, I covered everything and answered any questions you may have from my first one. Make sure you come and do this and get your free stamina. There. Now we got a bunch of stuff in here for not really doing much. Um, let the stamina stock up as much as you can because you always want your stamina regenerating over time and ideally keep using your flags as you can too. Um, don't follow my example off this account. Like if I, if I say something different then, then do that instead. Don't be like, well your flags are, you don't use your flags. You, use your flag. And I guess that's going to be it. Pretty pog that we pulled Crow. And um, I, I should get into Wyvern so damn fast in this account. That's the goal. With this free gear, it shouldn't take long at all. And um, yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments. I might not get to you in your comment, but it may make it into the next video that I do. Okay, because like I do kind of browse through the comments. I, it, like Responding to every single one of them takes time that I just don't have. So... Yeah, but I do browse through them and read, and so if you have any suggestions for the next video, stuff that I can cover that I forgot, or that I overlooked, or something you're still confused on, let me know, and I'll try and get into the next video. All right. Like if you enjoyed. You know, I always say that at the end. If you enjoyed and this helped you, please drop a like. It helps me out a lot. The last video did extremely well, which I am grateful for. If you're new here, drop me a sub. I'd appreciate it. Um, we're growing quickly here. I would like to hit 10,000 this summer. It's my goal. Um, and it would be awesome if you guys help me reach that. Um, I'm streaming more often on Twitch now, doing some RTA, doing some Guild War, because the season started. Yeah. Come join me over there. You can find the link to that in the description. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.